We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we record today, the Turrbal and Yuggera people. We pay our respects to Elders past and present. Aboriginal land always was, always will be. Sovereignty was never ceded. Hello, my name is Gina. Hello, my name is Amy. And we are As As Good As As It Gets. Hello, welcome back to As Good As It Gets. Amy. Gina. How's it going? (gasps) Give me the tea. Well, Gina, I'm really good because someone in this room bought me flowers. Well, there's only two of us. Oh. Wait. Well, someone in the complex bought me <laughs> flowers. Gina bought me flowers, guys, and they're really pretty and they don't look like they're from Coles. And they may or may not be from Coles. Cannot confirm nor deny. No. No. I will not tell my secrets. So, <laughs> that's really nice. That's made my day. Oh, I'm glad. It's really I'm nice. sad that that was the highlight of your day. Um, well, Amy, I have had a bad day. Didn't but- you tell me that you just started a new job? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah, I'm just saying that was better. Oh, nice. It wasn't a bad day or anything. Nothing went wrong at said job. (laughs) This is fun. Um, But it's just like lots of learning new things Mm. and it's a corporate job. And don't we hate learning? I hate like not knowing everything. (laughs) No, I hate that too. I hate it. And there's so many people. Um, I don't know many people's names. Yes. Many people don't know my name. That's fair. I And I didn't like... I liked my outfit today, but I didn't feel hot. Ah. Uh, um, so I just feel like I'm ugly. <laughs> Stop this. Um, but that's enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. How are you? I'm so good, Amy. Yes. Thank you for asking. Yes. Um, and that's all I have to say. That's great, Gina. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're genuinely... Just living your best life and like, there's nothing going on for you. I didn't have a Menti B on the way here listening to Stick Season by Noah Khan. Have you heard that song? It's um, fucking great. No. Anyway, go watch it. Is it going to make me watch cry? It? Oh, probably not. Oh, great. Just for me. Because <laughs> I find meaning in everything. Ah, uh, yes. I could see a dog walking down the street and be like wow that reminds me of this time at christmas like you know what i mean yes, it's, yes. it'd be like it'd be like that it'd be like that sometimes yeah. it'd be it's sometimes it do be <laughs> um but amy you know what i haven't spoken to you about <laughs> in a little while oh what's that gina <laughs> um so jeremy jeremiah <laughs> did we ever find out if he has um big dick energy <laughs> Gina, mm-hmm. <coughs> I can yes. confirm. Oh my god, that Jeremy Jeremiah. Yeah, what are you confirming? Uh, isn't interested in me, so I can't oh. tell you <laughs> if he has big dick energy or not. What the fuck? Oh, it's okay. It was actually a very nice and normal. Hey, I'm not interested. Like he, what? He didn't ghost me. He wasn't That's rude. Nice. Yeah, I have had so many instances of ghosting or people just making up dumb excuses, cancelling on me last minute. Mm. Uh, he didn't do any of that. Let me tell you what he did say. Okay. Uh, well, how did this come about? Did he? Were you organising a time to see each other and he was like this? That's exactly what happened. Okay, wait. Were you organising or was he organizing? I was organising. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so he When was been- the last time you saw him? So wait, how many um, times had you seen him? Sorry, this was kidding. <laughs> I'd seen him four times. Oh, okay. And the last time I saw him was before I went to Rockhampton for the weekend, uh, listeners, because I'm a touring actor. Oh. Um, I had a show in Rockhampton. She's a big deal. So. so I saw him on the Thursday night and went to Rockhampton Friday. I see. Yes, yeah. okay. Um, and probably like two days before then, he'd been really delayed with responses, which wasn't super unusual Mm. but it was annoying yes quite right yes (laughs) and I was like can we like what's going on here Mm. uh anyway so I had messaged him after like a bunch of things and I was like okay like e free Wednesday do you want to grab dinner he didn't reply all that day and then he responded the next day and I was like 
Hello. Yikes, I'm getting really bad at this. this. The absence of conversation has been unintentional. Sorry. I had a shockingly busy day today. Shut up. <sighs> Don't we all? I, Haven't we all? I do think he's a really nice guy, but that really frustrates me. You know what that I'm, is? Small dick energy. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Got him. Got him. Uh, no, Look, it is Jeremy. Right. Uh, yeah. So if you're listening to this, <laughs> which I you know no reason why he would be now yeah um he probably didn't even listen to the first one he did because we oh. spoke about it oh. <laughs> just really annoying because i was in rockhampton mm. on tour yes and i could put 30 seconds aside in my day to say Quite right hey how's your day going what are you up to today blah 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 mm-hmm. hi hottie whenever anyone is like oh i just had such a busy day i'm like you're a piece of shit yeah yeah <laughs> anyway i digress However, I have been reflecting and whilst I do think we have a lot of similarities, I'm not sure I'm feeling a strong enough connection or something that is beyond really good friends. You are a great person, someone who I am or would be really lucky to have around me. I really hope you find that connection, Amy. You deserve the best. Which is pretty, like, that's nice. That's very it mature. Was nice. It was very mature. As I said, like, there was, mm. there's nothing he did wrong here. Mm. Um, it's just, oh, well, there you go. Another one. <laughs> Add that to the tally ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to know what my response was? I do, of okay. course, yeah. Okay. Hiya, sparkle emoji. Mm-hmm. Thanks for letting me know. The absence in conversation was really frustrating me, so I wasn't sure how much I'd like to pursue something if this was going to be the norm. Nice. I would have still been willing to see where things went, but I do appreciate you being up front. I don't need any more friends. <laughs> Laugh yeah. emoji. Yeah. So I hope you find what you're looking forward to. The end. And that's the last communication. I love that response, Amy, for multiple reasons. One, um, we have enough friends. So many friends. We're in our mid-twenties. I don't, I don't need male friends. I don't need them. <laughs> and plus, like, I have male friends. Yeah. And I like them and that's who I see. Yeah. And if I don't need If I wanted more. a male friend, I want them to make out with me. <laughs> yeah. You know? like Yeah. I just don't personally need that. And I see, I hardly see my friends enough as it is. Yes. Don't add another one to don't the bucket. No. Absolutely not. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's great. Yeah, so um, feeling awesome. Feeling really good. Mm. I'll have you know that I've been on no dates recently. Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh, I'll go swiping and I'll have a look. Oh, this man looks interesting. Oh, he's cute. He doesn't reply or he replies with yeah. something immediately sexual. And I'm like, fuck off. You're like, thank you so I'm much. I'm busy. For your hinge- so busy. And on my Hinge profile, it says I'm looking for a long term, maybe open to short. But it yes. literally says not here to fuck spiders. Great. And they c- and then all these spiders are coming out. <laughs> Being like, fuck me. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, I, I literally just said that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm just I'm too I'm too old for it. Yeah, I hear I'm too ya. busy. I I'm too ya. tired. It's a no from me. You dumb. know what I was thinking about today, Gina? Go on. Speaking of being old. Oh yeah. I can't wait to plan my thirtieth birthday party in two years. <laughs> Is it two years? Yeah. Are you twenty eight? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I'm gonna have a have a hoot of a time. Yes, you're gonna have a hoot nanny. You're you gonna are. hire out a space. Oh you'll be there. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. Like, like as your, uh, like your plus one. Or? Oh no, you'll be working there because you ah! like the hospital gig. <laughs> That's fair. It's like yeah, I do need yeah. the money. So <laughs> uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, but Gina, mm-hmm. what are we doing today? Well, you know what? I think it's about time we talk about the big issue in the room, mm. the elephant, if you will. Yes. Um, that elephant is called rejection <laughs> and I've been eating it every day, every night. I ate it the other day. <laughs> How did it taste? Sour. Sour, cold, bitter. Mm, bitter, off. Off. Got food poisoning. And you know what? I know that we're not the only ones. No, sorry. No. <laughs> Say it to me, sister. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and I would love to hear about other people's stories to make me laugh, to make me smile, to make me go, you know what? Yes. He deserved that. And so that's exactly what we've done. Go Gina. on. We put out the call out to the fans, to we the did. listeners. Mm. We said, hey, y'all, mm. tell us. We posed two questions. Yes. Numero uno. Mm. What is the most brutal way... You have rejected someone. Mm. And numero two. 
<laughs> what is the saddest, funniest, weirdest way you've been rejected? Mm. Now, the responses that we've got, we definitely have more answers of tales of rejection. The rejectee rather than the rejector. Mm. So we're going to start off with the rejectors. Yes, mm-hmm. I'm ready. Hit me. Okay. There's first one. Tale of a rejector. I yelled at someone on the street to go home from my balcony. You know what? As as she should. <laughs> as she should. Uh, <laughs> I want to know more details. Like why? What what was what were they doing on the street? Yeah, why was there such a physical barrier? Yeah. My brain was like, is this a stalker? Is it oh. someone who's like, I just want to love you? Or is it like a Romeo and Juliet, but she wasn't Juliet? Oh, uh, she was, was like, Julia. And he was like, oh, what? sorry, wrong house. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Juliet down the street is like, the fuck? She's like, what are you? <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> okay, this one. Mm-hmm. He asked to hold hands. I screamed in his face and ran away. I was in year two. <laughs> nah, I'd do that today. <laughs> yeah. No! <laughs> Can you imagine? You know, on the first date, have you ever had this when someone tries to hold your hand on the first date? I actually haven't. You not, haven't? Not on the first date. I have at least, I think it's been at least twice. I'm like, we don't know each other like that. No. <laughs> Holding hands is actually so intimate. I think it is. Yeah. I truly think it is. Like, I'll fuck you on the first date. Don't hold my hand, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will put your penis <laughs> in, in my body. In and around. But you don't you dare give me eye contact. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've always said that I found sleeping in the same bed with someone more intimate than having sex with them. Absolutely. No. I have never had a good night's sleep the first night I have like slept, and I mean sleeping mm. next to someone. A male, yes. Yeah, no, 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 no. Never. And they just want it all the time. You know why? Because they don't ever get intimacy anywhere else in their lives. Yeah. How about this, men? Uh, give your friends hugs or handshakes. I don't give a fuck. Stop trying to hold my hand. I thought you were going to say give your friends hand jobs. <laughs> and I was like, preach it, sister. <laughs> be more gay. Uh, yeah. Can just the whole world be a bit more gay? <laughs> Looking at myself in the mirror saying that one. Okay. This one is a bit of a... Got rejected, but also rejected simultaneously. Okay. We met up in person from a Tinder match Mm -hmm. and instantly said that neither of us wanted to anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Look, I wish I had that confidence. (laughs) If someone said it to me, I'd be like, yeah, look, same. See ya. I couldn't do it. (laughs) See ya. That's fine. (laughs) Okay, next one. Yes. Hmm. I asked someone out with a handwritten note under their door. Oh. They replied, it was cute, thought I was onto a winner. Yes. He copied my note word for word and asked out my neighbour with it by sliding it under her door and then took her out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Truly. I That's tell you no fucked. lie, Gina. That's fucked. Isn't imagine it? imagine hitting on someone and then being like, wow, that was a really cute way to do it. I'll just do that exact I'll same thing. I'll just do thing. it to the person I like. Like, uh. <laughs> and like, I assume if if this person pushed it under the door, that they was they were neighbors as well. Yes, you know what I mean. So they it's were all like a neighbors. Domino effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, next one. Mm. Uh, working as a stripper, two customers walked in. I smiled at them, and they literally ran out. <laughs> And this is why I can't do sex work. And the, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm scared of. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not people touching me no. or being up in my space. No, no, no. Just being rejected by people I don't even off want. my looks yeah. one second into the interaction. Yeah. <laughs> <Pretty nice. laughs> okay, this one. Mm. A guy asked for my number while I was at work and I laughed at him. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, oh, that's brutal. Okay, there's two more left from our submissions, Gina. Okay, all right. The last one, I don't want to lose a listener. Oh. But it's messed up. Okay. But before we get there. All right. I shook my head no when making eye contact with a guy coming straight towards me. You know what? That's fantastic. <laughs> that no is, words needed. No words. She was just like, mm-mm. 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 Don't even Shut try up. it. No. <laughs> don't even <laughs> turn look around, me, babe. Look at you. See you later. <laughs> 180, see ya. (laughs) That's a no, dog. I don't even need to talk to you. (laughs) It's going to be a no from me, dog. (laughs) Okay, Gina, this one. Okay. It's not good. Oh, my God. And listener, thank you so much for (laughs) submitting. Yeah. 
please keep listening. <laughs> I told him I couldn't see him again because I was dying and it wouldn't be fair on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, did he believe it? I don't know. <laughs> it's all I got. I need more information. Listener, you know who you are. Slide into our DMs. More info, please. <laughs> more information? Yes. Oh my god. Isn't that a scandal? Wait, did you say like you had a disease or were you just like, I am dying, full stop? <laughs> I am dying and it wouldn't be <laughs> fair. <laughs> All the best. <laughs> okay, goodbye. See you later. What? I could never. I don't think I could. I or wish could I, I could. <laughs> <laughs> One more rejection and um, hello. And uh, we'll see. Um. I've got a short little tale of oh. rejectorship. Oh, yeah. Gina. Go on. So one of my many matches um, across the years. Yes. I don't even – just chinned the microphone. I don't remember what app this was from. Mm. Whatever it was, the guy and I started talking on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, after literally I think it was a day, I was like – okay, this is actually, like, he was constantly messaging me. And even when I would say something like, I'm going out, like, I'll like talk to you later or whatever, I would get messages while I was out that would be like, hey, are you having a good time? Or, like, are you home yet? Blah, 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 blah. Like, obsessive that's kind of messages. That's like, fucked. It was not... You can't see my face, but I'm not impressed. Literally after a day of talking and I was like, this is... No, 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 no. Red no, no, flag. No. Red flag. I'm out. Waving. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, hey, I was like, it's been <laughs> nice. It's been, been real. Yeah. yeah, it's been real. Um, it's a no from me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I like, I don't remember what I said, but it was basically mm. I'm feeling like suffocated. <laughs> but and not I those don't words. even know you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I am not interested in talking any further. Mm. And the response I got back from him mm. was like, why does this always happen to me? I'm not even kidding. Why does this always happen to me? Oh, my God. Um, people say I'm such a, like, nice guy. I'm such a good guy. Uh, but I can never get a girl, like, to go on a date with me. Oh, Jesus. Why did you talk to me if you weren't even interested? Whoa. And I was like, uh, <laughs> hello. hold on. And so I was like, absolutely not. I was like, this needs to be a teaching moment. <laughs> and so I just went to town, like, keyboard worrying, mm. worrying. Yeah. And was like, you can't talk to people like that. Mm. I'm allowed to not like you after yes. talking to you for one day. Yes. This, this is a red flag. This is a red flag. Blah, 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 blah. Sent it. Deleted. Blocked. Whatever. Nice. He found me on <gasps> Facebook. Oh, my God. And then continued to message me on Messenger. That's fucked. Yeah. You're not a nice guy. No, you're, you're not a, a nice guy. You're a fedora wearing incel Reddit weirdo. <laughs> He definitely owned a fedora. Like, I swear. <laughs> um, yeah, and so obviously I didn't respond to any of his Facebook messages. I just, again, like, blocked, blocked and deleted. And then I don't really have any other social media networks, but anything else or whatever. It was like, okay, make sure you can't find me anywhere else. Like, I even looked on LinkedIn, but I didn't I didn't have his last name, mm. but my last name is on my Instagram. Uh, was your Instagram like attached to your dating profile or something? No, that's just we started talking on Instagram instead oh, of on the app. I found you or something. Well, and I gave it to him. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm with Because it. he was normal when we were uh, <laughs> talking on the apps. No, that's disgusting. Yeah. That's really weird. Yeah. Big and red flag behavior. Yeah, 100%. See, I see red flags and I see them as pretty little sheets <laughs> and I like to drape mm. myself in them. I love sheets. Yeah. Egyptian cotton? Mm, crimson. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crimson, so hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Okay, Gina, Um, remind me. Yes. Do you have something to share for this question or is it for the next one? No, so it's for the rejected part Excellent. of the – Yes. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to move on to question number two, mm. which is what is the weirdest, funniest, saddest way you have been rejected? Okay. So uh, uh, I got some voice memos from an old friend of mine um, who will call Gloria. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Gloria. Um, and Gloria sent in some voice memos and I think this is just fucking gold. So here it is. Now, my second story is not a romantic rejection, but it still stings to this day. So my friends and I 
were at a bar when we finished uni, um, just for the day. And we kind of knew the bartender there. And I think he had like a crush on my friend. Anyway, but like we're just all... Also, pause. Have you ever like gone to a venue or some place that you go to regularly with friends and the bartender, the coffee maker, whatever, barista, they have a crush on your friend and you're like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, cool. I'm yeah. not even the main character in my own life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Anyway, just side note. Mm-hmm. Chat and shit, whatever. Bantering with the bartender guy. And then we go down to the bar and we're just talking to him and he's like, what are we drinking? And um, they were like, oh, I don't know. We'll probably just stick with waters. He's like, no, no. How about we get how about like a round of shots? And we're like, oh, you know, we're kind of like, we don't really have enough money for shots. He's like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I'll, it's on me. And we're like, okay. If it's on him, then sure, let's do some shots. Am I right? Anyway, so we all do the shots. Um, and my two friends are very attractive people. I'm also attractive, but they're very attractive. And he had a crush on one of them. But he goes like, yeah, shots on me. So we do the shot. And then he taps my shoulder and goes, oh, that's just $12. <gasps> No. I was the only one who had to pay for the shot. <gasps> yeah. No. Still hurts. Still hurts. Not going to lie. <laughs> oh, my God. How fucked is that? How fucked? Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you kidding? No. What a dick. That what is a dick. small dick energy. Small dick energy. That's a fucking no from oh. me. Oh, my God. I would have been, like, so embarrassed and also, like, how dare he? How dare he? I know. What a cunt. What a cunt. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I'm so sor- sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, Gloria, that that, that happened to <laughs> you. <laughs> What's that? I don't know what that was. Okay. I also realised just before I read out a tale of being rejected when I was talking about rejectors. Um, so let's just pretend that I didn't do that. I don't know. Look, I, you think I would have known. Okay. I didn't. Great. Okay. <laughs> do you have any for rejection? Yes. Let me walk you through some. Go um, on. So a few from the listeners. From okay. A, from some submissions we got over the Instawebs. Just on the Instawebs. Uh, here's one. Yep. A guy I was seeing a couple of years ago ghosted me and when I messaged to ask why, he said, I didn't mean to ghost you. I just got busy having fun. You're a little boring. <laughs> I got busy <laughs> having fun. <laughs> Sorry, you're boring. Um, you know what? That's just... I wish I could say that to men without getting a response that's like, you fucking blah, you, you deserve to die, blah. you fuck. Yeah. I wish yeah. I could. Um, and I know this person too and they're not boring, so that guy was stupid. Stupid. Okay. Uh, having a barista not want to give me my coffee because I didn't react to my name fast enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> What, what kind of weird power trip is that barista on? <sighs> Calm down, buddy. Yeah, he was like, this is all I've got to look forward to today. Um, I've got one from the internet. Please. Yes. So uh, old mate says, gave a girl at work my number on a piece of paper and she handed it right back and said, well, we, we talk at work all the time, so let's keep doing that. <laughs> 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 Why would I need this? We just we work Let's together. Keep doing that. Yeah, <laughs> we see each other at work all the fixed, time. Don't. Wait, if it ain't if, fixed, if it ain't fixed, don't broke it. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, what I like to say. <laughs> <laughs> One I've got here, Gina. Yeah. Quite simply, you remind me of my little brother. Mm. <laughs> mm. I had um, I had a cute guy that I did it. Was it recently? What is time? Anyway, I'm, I was like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe. Mm. And he called me um, ma'am once. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ow. I got called fuck. ma'am yesterday when I was getting a um, hot chockey before work. Did ya? By a guy who definitely wasn't that much older than me. Yeah. And what was your name, ma'am, for that? And I was like, mm-hmm. um, I'm 28. <laughs> My Thank name is you. Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just call my two kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another one from the internet. Yeah. Uh, someone said, asked a girl if she wanted to grab lunch together sometime. And she said she was busy that day, <laughs> which was interesting <laughs> as I never specified <laughs> the day. <laughs> Do you get lunch sometime? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I've got lunch on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
pretty pretty busy. <laughs> pretty busy. Another one. Um, I went out to a restaurant slash bar with four buddies. Um, some ladies sent over a round of drinks to my four buddies. Awesome. <laughs> 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 it's giving Gloria. It's giving Gloria. <laughs> Shout out Gloria. Oh heck. Uh, another one. This mm. is a different type of rejection. Okay. Uh, in seventh grade, I was invited to a slumber party. Amazing. Cool. The mum came home from work and said, there is no slumber party. We all got in the van for her to take us home. She took me home first. I found out later she took all the other girls back for the slumber party. <laughs> what? I know. <gasps> How fucking traumatising oh is that? Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, were you ever that kid? Well, I wouldn't know, would I, Gina? <laughs> I don't think I was. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like, I wasn't popular, but I think I, I don't think I was ever that kid. Yeah, right. Oh. Oh, here's a tale of rejection. Mm. So when I was in, uh, I think it was grade eight, mm. I was invited to like a slumber party get together and it was my first ever where there were boys and girls going. Right. I don't know if my mum and dad knew this. Mm-hmm. Anyway, get there. And of course it's, um, we play spin the bottle and this is my first time ever playing spin the bottle. So yes. I'm like just excited to be there. Yes. You know what Happy I mean? Happy to be involved. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily having a crush on anyone, but you know, you're fucking 13. You have a crush on everyone. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know what anything is. <laughs> Kiss me, fool. <laughs> Quite right. Anyway, so um, there was this funny guy in the group and he had dated one of the other girls in the group, but I don't think they were dating at the time. Mm. Anyway, I was like the girl who wasn't in the group. I was friends with the birthday girl. Right. The girls liked me. The girls thought I was a hoot, but the men obviously didn't think I was attractive enough to be friends with. Shut up. You know what I mean? At 13. Yeah. Um, (laughs) And so... It spun, the funny guy got me and he was making everyone laugh. And as we went in to kiss, he made me laugh. So I exhaled, like I just went, (laughs) you know what I mean? Mm. And he was like, oh my God, she spit in my mouth. She did this. And I was like, obviously embarrassed and like, oh my God, you know, he's embarrassing me in front of everyone. Anyway, after a while of doing spin the bottle, oh, there was one guy that wasn't playing for whatever reason. Mm. And um, anyway, after a while, I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I was just going to go inside to get something to eat or just go to the toilet. And I was like, okay, I'm out for this round or whatever. And the guy that was not playing, he was like, as a joke, which wasn't a joke, he said, oh, well, now that Jean is out, I might as well start playing. Mm. And it made me cry. Oh, I would have too. Yeah. How awful are fucking kids and men in general? Yeah. Yeah, how gross. Oh, I know. Little Gina. Little Gina, yeah. <laughs> it hasn't gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now when I, now when the men say that I do spit in their mouth <laughs> <laughs> and they like it. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, another one, a super handsome guy that I thought looked like a young Paul Newman, hello, took me to sushi. He seemed uncomfortable during dinner and then said Ever think someone is cute until you get up close and realise they have a ton of freckles? I have a ton of freckles. The audacity. No. (laughs) Yeah. 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 I am shocked. (laughs) I am shook to my core. Oh, my God. What is wrong with people? It's awful, hey? Jesus. And why is it like – I feel like – when the women reject people, I feel like it's funny. Is that just my um, uh, misandry? Well, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Do you have any, Amy? Do you um, have any more? Oh, no, like listener submissions, I mean. Oh, listener submissions, no. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Yeah. Um, a guy I was seriously dating called me on my 30th birthday while I was at the office working. Broke up with me 20 minutes before I walked into a surprise party that he knew I was walking into. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? You can't wait till after the party, bro. You can't wait. Oh, he, was he doing that just so he wouldn't have to be there? Oh, that's fucked. Yeah. 
That doesn't help. No. No, that's not how you get out of a party. I hate everyone. Yes, quite right. I, um, I've got only a couple more. Yes. <laughs> um, it's, I think this is just one-liners. Mm. So someone hit on someone and they said, do I know you? <laughs> that's iconic. <laughs> uh, someone asked someone out to be their girlfriend. Yes. Um, and they said... Like pretend, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're just actors uh, in an acting class, yeah. and it's like, like for a scene. Yeah, like yeah. Oh, you got a scene? Yeah, we'll do a yeah, scene. Yeah, awesome. Pretend, yeah, awesome. Yeah, you're you're great as a scene partner. Yeah. Um, and my final one. Once post coitus, a woman said to me, "I always like fucking ugly guys. They try harder." <laughs> <laughs> <Genius>. <laughs> Have oh we tried this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can confirm. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, fucking brutal. Oh, to quote Olivia Rodrigo, it's brutal out there. <laughs> god, it's, it's brutal, brutal out here. Here, mm, here and there. Nah, nah, sorry, nah, 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 nah. anyway. <laughs> I feel like I brought the mood down. Down. Yeah. Down, One. down, our prices are down. <laughs> Why did you unlock that trauma for me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Did that unlock feelings you forgot about? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so I haven't thought about the big red down hand in ages. <laughs> bring it back. Bring it, bring it back. Did it ever leave? Is it still there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't work at Coles anymore. <laughs> uh, well, Jada. Did that hurt you? Coles. <laughs> The rejection stories. Come on, Amy, keep I'm up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A lot of them left me shocked. Like my <laughs> mouth was <laughs> visually and audibly ajar. Yes. Like what is wrong with people? I also have a really itchy nose and I can't stop scratching it. Have I ever been rejected that badly? Um. Well, some of those made me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, and I hate to find happiness in other people's misery, but at least we're all in the same bucket of shit out here. Oh, truly, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Amy, I want to say you may go through ten more rejections, five more, twenty more, fifty more. Oh, Jesus. but at the end of that, you'll find your true love. Well, you don't know that, Gina. <laughs> You're right. I don't. You're right. I don't. But you know what I heard recently, and I like. Yeah. I'll say it. Okay. <laughs> no, no, don't. Keep it to yourself. I like the mystery. Um, someone said, if if you knew that you were going to meet your partner, if you just dated five more people mm. or if you fell in love one more time, wouldn't you just be like so keen to get out there and date whoever because you know that at the end of this – he's out there or she's out there or very they're true out there, yes you know and you'd have more fun with it you'd be mm. like well this is we're just dating and everything's fine and meh, meh, meh. you wouldn't put all of your hopes and dreams and all this pressure and effort you'd be like well they're on their way they're coming i know it i just have to date a couple more people that's such a nice perspective keep that in your noggin hey eh? Oh, let me get on the apps. <laughs> Let's swip Let's swap away. away. <laughs> and this is live on the air. We've got <laughs> That's really wholesome, Gina. Okay, good. And it can actually like for a lot of people it's true. Yeah, so true. Not for me. Yeah, but no, maybe no. for you. Well, no? Tune in next week. Hey. <laughs> Gina, I'd like to know. Mm-hmm. What got you good this week? I just want to shout out um <laughs> to my good friend Carlos. Carlos. Who uh, works with me at my hotel job. That's not his real name. Mm. Uh, Carlos, don't worry. I know your actual name. I just want to uh, keep your privacy private. Right. Yeah? Uh, Carlos, he's Colombian. Good man. Funny man. Beautiful. He found out that I had a podcast. Yes. And he said, you know what, Gina, I'm going to subscribe to you and listen to it. And that will help me with my English. Oh, <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> I don't know how to tell him that it won't help him with his English. Not at all. It'll probably hinder. Yes. Yes. And today I had to uh, describe to him and try to explain what big dick energy was Mm. and how it didn't relate to penises Mm. and what a slut was. Ah, great. (laughs) So just getting like the really like the essential basics down. (laughs) 
Yeah. <laughs> All the words yeah. that he'll use in everyday speech. I like that. Yeah. Um, but thank you, Carlos, for subscribing. Yeah, and I hope you, Carlos. And I hope you're learning things. Mm. I hope we're all learning things. Yes. And he asks me things like, what does this mean? And why does Aaron have two A's in it? And I tell him, I don't know. Because we're idiots. I know. Aaron has one A. <laughs> <laughs> you sound it out. Aaron. I don't know why Aaron has two A's. I really don't. And they always ask me these questions and I'm Mm. like, I don't don't know. I don't know what to tell you, Carlos. I don't know. Yeah, right. Anyway, Amy, tell me. Yes. What got you good? Well, let's continue on this shout out train, Gina. Oh, hello. Yes, yes. Uh, I would like to shout out. Now, I am torn here because there's two people who come to mind. You're Natalie and Brulia. You're torn. I'm so Natalie and Brulia. So Mm. I'm just going to say them both. Yep. With their fake names that they don't know they have. Yep. Uh, so first shout out goes to a uh, good old friend from the uh, Evil Bridal Store. You know who you are because you're probably the only one from uh, there. Yes. That listens. Yes, lovely. <laughs> but she constantly updates. She sent us that message that I showed you <sighs> being excited about a new episode. Oh. Loves going for walks with her doggo. Oh. Thank you so much for listening and uh, getting getting the view count. The view count. Okay. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and second shout out goes to my uh, okay for those who don't know guys I do cheerleading oh yeah. say more you sexy slut yeah, I'm pretty hot Carlos knows what that means now yeah. <laughs> uh, and one of my cheer teammates and you know who you are we do the uh, cartwheel stunt together <laughs> mm. just brought up my, the podcast the other day and said that she now uses as that's as good as it gets in her like everyday lingo oh Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like she'll, yeah. Just be, yeah, she'll just be quoting the line and be like, oh, that's, well, that's as good as it gets. And everyone else was like, okay. And she's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So how cool is that? All three of our fans are making a big difference in our lives. <laughs> Carlos bringing in the male uh, <laughs> listeners. Woo. All one of his. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know what? Wouldn't it be nice to have fans? <laughs> Gina, weren't you listening? We do. We have three. Uh, <laughs> <wee! laughs> I mean, it's been an, an an unadulterated pleasure. Saucy. <laughs> Spicy. I like that. Uh, and I'm so happy to be doing this with you. And you know what? Next week, I hope you tell me something like you've met the love of your life. I hope I tell you that also. And if you don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think we'll cancel the podcast. Probably. All right. Gina Yes You look hot I don't But thank you for saying That's okay (laughs) (laughs) Until next week my friends We are As as good as as it gets. gets